So, Christmas update beta. That means new weapons to test out. Yay! So, we got two new uh, free HRG weapons. And those two weapons are the HRG, win HRG Winterbite or the Gunslinger. You can dual uh, wield them. Or you can buy a, or get a single one. Like, uh, or, like every other pistol for Gunslinger. And then we got the HRG Incision for Field Medic, which is basically a railgun that shoots syringes or something, I, I guess. So let's go over these two weapons. So let's start off with the HRG Winterbite for the Gunslinger. So the HRG Winterbite, unlike the Spitfire that heats up the sets, you know, this thing cools down the sets and, you know, makes them chill, I guess. And this thing can freeze uh, sets as well. And it freezes sets in a pretty low amount of shots. That's pretty bad, because what does that mean? Yeah, it means you can freeze big sets with this thing. How well does it freeze big sets? Well... Oh, whoop. Let me show you how easily it freezes a big set. So here's a flesh bomb. And there's a frozen flesh bomb. And that's a dead flesh bomb. Yeah, th that was pretty easy. Very, very easy. I was only using a tier 2 center fire as well. Here. With a single deagle. Yep. Pr still pretty easy. And then another, you know, uh, good uh, early, like, eco by a big set killer, I guess. Or uh, a gunslinger is single AF. Kills it pretty quickly and pretty easily as well. And that's pretty bad, because as you saw, that was very easy, especially with the center fire. What about Scrakes? Well, uh, Scrakes are no different story. As you can see, the center fire kills it super quickly. Of course, uh, the single pistols are going to struggle a little bit more. Because handgun uh, damage type is not that great against the uh, Scrakes. But still, if you have some space to, you know, walk backwards and, you know, backpedal against the Scrake, it's pretty easy to kill with the Deagle. And then, with a single AF. Again, if you have some space to backpedal on, it's very easy to kill the Scrake. And that's pretty terrible, as you especially so, again, with the center fire, no effort. To kill the Scrake, and as you all probably know, that Gunstinger is a pretty high damage perk in this game. Like, actually, the highest damaging perk overall in this game because, you know, he had Gunstinger have increased uh, fire rate in set time and real, uh, uh, real time reload as well, which is also very nice when you don't have a limited set, uh, ammo in set time. And that's pretty terrible. Even worse, you can run this off perk, and it can freeze big sets in 4 direct shots, so around 4 or 5 shots it freezes big sets. And it weights 2. And it costs 325 dosh. Yeah, that, that makes this thing a incredibly versatile and an incredibly good utility weapon to freeze things with, especially big sets. And the only thing you can, com can compare this weapon to is the freeze thrower, which is more expensive and weights a lot more. It weights 7 compared to 2, so that's pretty bad because there's a lot of loadouts you have two uh, extra weight to play around with. So you can just fit this thing right into those loadouts and like, oh hey, I have a freeze weapon. And that's pretty bad. And uh, yeah, th this thing, like... No joke turns the game into easy mode. Uh, like, no fucking joke. Like, it's stupid. So, uh, you know, let, let's use some actual, like, stronger weapons. So, let's use a tier 4, uh, you know, tier 4 set fire and tier 4 uh, M1911s. Very good setup. You can, of course, swap out the tier 4 M1911s for tier 4 Deagles or AFs, I guess, as well. 
And what happens now? Oh, I... Scrick. Yeah. Like, actually no effort at all to kill it. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty terrible. Uh, wh what about Flesh Pounce? Yeah, uh, about that. That was also no effort. You don't need to learn uh, the rage animation to head track the flesh pound during rage animation, which you normally do. You don't need to learn that, even though that's very easy on Gunsinger because, you know, you're hip firing outside of set time. But uh, now you don't even need to learn that. You, you just run this thing and freeze uh, whatever on the, on the rage uh, flesh pound and what, uh, whichever scrake you see. And as well, you can run this off perk. This, you know, completely makes the freeze thrower completely obsolete. And yeah, this thing is completely broken. So, Tripwire, please fucking nerf. And and seriously, Tripwire, did you actually play test this? Like, come on. Yeah, that, that's enough about that. So, let's go over to the other weapon. The HRD Incision. Is this thing good? Well, uh, yeah, it's also very, very good. Especially against Scrakes. Why? Just like the railgun, this thing have a lock on. Also, it EMPs, so you can do this. You see this? The Scrake can't do anything against you if you have just a little bit of room to play with. And as well, you don't really need to be that good of a shot because this thing have lock on. So if you have the lock on on the Scrake head, yeah. Like, seriously, you can sh flick your aim to the side and still hit them. Like, again, Tripwire, did you actually playtest this? Because both the HRD Winterbite and the HRD Incision are brain dead and completely fucking broken. And also, I'm using this thing off perk. I'm not getting any bonuses, you know, just like when you do with Fuel Medic, if you're running full left, you know, unless you have actually healed someone, uh, you know, during the last uh, five seconds, which you might have uh, as well, and then you get Focus in uh, Injection. And hell, you can even fucking run Battle Surgeon with the, the HRG Injection, and you're capable of saving a few shots against certain sets, like, you're able to three-shot the uh, Scrakes, with a tier 5 uh, incision with Battle Surgeon. Which I think is the same as a off perk uh, tier 5 railgun, by the way. So, yeah, and this thing EMPs too. Against Flesh Pounds as well. EMPs gives you a lot of extra time to play with. Of course, not as safe. Uh, like, yeah. Uh, not as safe as uh, Scrakes for takedowns. Because they will, you know, eventually rage. But, uh, you know, if you want to, uh, yeah, <laughs> you can run this thing with it and... Yeah. Even if I'm not shooting in the head. Yeah. Uh, it's not difficult to kill the Flesh Pound. If you're combining these two weapons. So, yeah. So... Again, Tripwire, did you actually playtest this? Uh, but yeah, uh, another thing about uh, this weapon, the needles, both heal, and you can also use them as a, you know, as a railgun shot that doesn't really deal that much damage, but it's capable of uh, decapping a Gorefest. So, it it's decent, and as well, it has a ton of knockdown power, so if you're like running, if you're kiting with your team and you're coming through a choke and you, uh, you, are, you as a field medic, are in the front, and you end up with like, let us say a bloat that is body blocking. You just, boop, and you run through. Yeah. So... <laughs> yeah, the needle shot also have good offensive utility in terms of high knockdown. And it also have a ton of penetration. Just like, you know, Reloading. your normal shots. So, yeah. So... The second wave of HRG weapon, Beta 1. Both of these weapons are like completely brain dead. Like, yeah, the HRG Winterbite doesn't deal that much damage, but you, you can free stuff with it. Weights too. You can off perk it. 
yeah, pretty dumb. HRG incision doesn't deal as much damage as a a uh, railgun, but you know it weights uh, one less, and it EMPs, which makes Scrakes one hundred percent safe to kill if you have you know have some distance against them, aka long enough distance where they can't attack you. And you also have lock on, and you don't you know lose any damage for using the lock on mode because it only has lock on mode. Of course, against flesh pounds uh, or solo takedown, if you know. You can still mess it up and get hit, but still, it can very easily kill flesh bonds. So yeah, so uh, conclusion, uh, tripwire, please fucking nerf. Like seriously, <laughs> because these two weapons are no joke easy mode. So you know, in beta one, while you can enjoy your easy mode if you want to. But I personally really want to get these two weapons nerfed because they they make the game. Like, actually way too easy. But yeah, but that's that, so... Yeah, 